Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Excuse me. Tyson Fury says, I am not. Oh, no, no, no. He didn't say, I'm not in God. He says, me not in God. Man, not me. Me not in God. You can, you can think what you want, but me, me, no, me, 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 me. Shut up, Tyson Fury. We know you're not in Ghana. You don't have one one hundredth of that man's character and values, right? So Tyson Fury, shut up. Quit taking it to the stupid. Now, I'm telling y'all right now, did y'all hear? I think they had the microphone close to Tyson Fury. When you saw AJ knock down Francis and Ghana the first time, I think Tyson Fury farted out there. <laughs> He saw Anthony Joshua drop and got on Tyson Fury for the It was like, holy shit. Tyson Fury's afraid. Then Anthony Joshua dropped him again. Tyson Fury fought him again. And then when Joshua knocked, Joshua knocked out and got on Tyson Fury, shit himself. You just see Tyson Fury looking all over his shoulder. What's Tyson Fury scared of, people? Tyson, Lucky Fury. Chryson. Fury. Oh man, I'm so tired of this guy right now. Tyson Fury had the audacity to come out here and say that Francis Ngannou is a sausage. Francis Ngannou is, I mean, all these negative things about him. Like, when is this man, right, who claimed to have had all this depression, who claimed to, to be a role model for people, who, who claims to to, to, to be a, a Christian and all this shit, right? When is he going to show some decency? When? I personally don't think that jackass knows how. And I, I don't think Tyson Fury beats Anthony Joshua. As far as Tyson Fury and Usyk, you know, I don't know what direction that goes because, you know, there are a lot of people who are high on Usyk. And when it comes to Usyk, and, and, and when I think of anything that deals with something being high, I think about Usyk's balls being high up on his chest. That makes him a freaking alien to me. Because I've never seen a guy would run around here, uh, and I'm a male myself, but your balls aren't on your chest. So uh, Usyk must have irritable bowel syndrome or something else going on. And I think Tyson Fury has a good chance of beating Usyk. Who do I want to win? I don't care. I don't have a favorite boxer. I just like to talk shit. Um, especially about Tyson Fury and Usyk. Because Tyson Fury, I think, has had the secret society help him get to where he's reached. And Usyk, I think, uh, is full of crap as far as when it comes to low blows. He was, he's been doing this shit since the amateurs. You get anywhere near Usyk's mid midsection, uh, the, the, kind of close to the belt line, Usyk starts trying to pull that crybaby crap. Talking about he's getting hit in the, in the nuts. He hit with a low blow. Usyk's so full of shit, man. I don't believe nothing. I don't believe what he says when it comes to those low blows. Uh, maybe he had some surgery as a kid. Maybe the area is just, you know, permanently uh, tender. I don't know. But what, one thing I do know is Tyson Fury and Usyk, to me, that's a toss-up fight. I favor Tyson Fury to win, but that's a toss-up fight. But as far as Tyson Fury saying, like, I'm not, me not in Ghana. And, 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 and Anthony Joshua, and he steps in the ring with me, he's just a sausage and he's going to see Styles make fights and he's going to see what the Gypsy King is about. Hey, yo, Tyson Fury, I kindly request, in the most respectful way, that you hold your horses and stop taking it to the stupid. I'm telling y'all this right now, and it's not just because Anthony Joshua knocked out Francis and got him. I need to find the videos that I put out there, man. It's like over a year ago. Where I was saying Anthony Joshua should have never lost a fight. I've been saying that. that, that this man just has everything as a, as a heavyweight to beat everybody. But he's got to get, get it together. And I think he has it together. And I think Tyson Fury knows uh, AJ has it together. And it doesn't matter who gets in that room with Anthony Joshua. I think he knocks him out. I think he obliterates him. Uh, Hergovic can be a bit of a tough fight because Hergovic still, seems to still have it all together and not be intimidated. But as long as Anthony Joshua stays focused... There's no one who can beat him. And old Tyson, Lucky Fury, um, Mr. You know, Mr. 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 Sausage, Mr. Dasa, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Take it to the stupid. 
Tyson Fury doesn't stand a chance against no Anthony Joshua. How's Tyson Fury going to get in there and think he's going to outbox AJ? Tyson Fury throws his jab. His jab is pretty good. It's pretty quick. But he keeps his hands down low. Uh, he's not the, the, the best counter puncher. His hands are too long to try to do. His arms are too long to try to effectively counter punch Anthony Joshua, who keeps his punches very short, uh, very compact, and he's super explosive with both hands. I just think Tyson Fury is a big target. He's a big target. Just so happens to be a big dosser and a big-ass gypsy sausage. And I think Anthony Joshua puts the Nigerian British bing beans on a luck E Fury. And I think Anthony Joshua knocks him out. And I'm going to be honest with you. I hope he knocks him out. I really do. It doesn't matter what Tyson Fury does. Usman Sajad, manipulated gloves, all that shit. You watch what happens in that fight. I bet you Tyson Fury will get disqualified if he fought AJ. Because Tyson Fury will try to throw the elbows. He'll try to jab him with the palm of his hand. Watch that second uh, Deontay Wilder fight. And you'll see Tyson mash potato Fury and all the dirty shit he did in that fight. You'll see what he did, putting his elbow into the man. But that's Deontay Wilder's fault for, for, for not giving him back, giving him a taste of his own medicine. And in the third fight was still some of the same shit. Tyson Fury fighting dirty. But at the end of the day, he, he did beat De, uh, Deontay Wilder. And there's no argument about that. But he's just a filthy fighter. So hold on one second. People come into my house trying to sell stuff. Hold on, let me close my garage. Sorry about that. You got these bozos coming out here. They come into these neighborhoods. You see everybody out here living pretty good. And they want to ring your doorbell even though you got a do not solicit sign out there in your yard. Trying to sell these goddamn solar panels and vacuums and all, all kind of crap. But anyway, man, I forgot what I was saying. That guy pissed me off, man. He came up uh, ringing my doorbell, man, after I got a sign that says no soliciting. So I had to go out there and trump him up real quick and get him to F out my yard. But um, I was talking shit and making jokes just now about Tyson Fury. Oh, he's going to get disqualified. I think Tyson, Lucky e. Fury, Mashed Potato Fury, Dawson Sausage Fury, I think he'll get disqualified against AJ. I think he'll try to fight dirty. Um, I think Anthony Joshua, I don't think he'll fight fire with fire, but I definitely think he'll try to put Tyson Fury in his place. And I don't think what Tyson Fury does with Usman Sajjad and... Whatever dirty tactics he tries to bring into the ring, um, I just think he's going to get himself disqualified because he's going to get hit with some shit. He's going to get hurt. He's going to go down, and Tyson Fury is going to re resort to dirty tactics. Same shit he tried to pull against Ngannou. He actually did pull it, you know, and that's what he does. If things aren't going his way, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury turns into Tyson Filthy. For all you, for all you Tyson Fury fans out there, I'm telling you right now. Stop taking to the stupid. You know Tyson Fury is a bald-headed pig. Y'all know he's filthy in the ring. I'm not talking about him as a person. Good good father. That guy, you all love and respect that dude. We're talking about boxing, right? Not him as a human being, with as a family man. That's two different conversations because I talk with a lot of love and respect about that guy. But right now we're talking about Tyson, marshmallow, pillow, sausage, filthy Fury. He's going to try to get dirty in there because Big Femi is going to put the bing bing on him. So he's not in Ghana. You know, yeah, he's not in Ghana. He's much better than in as a boxer, but he's not a guy with the character of in He's not going to come in there and be a clean fighter. Matter of fact, Tyson Fury talks so much shit. I'm, I'm me not in Ghana. Me not in Ghana. I'm, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Put you in the octagon and you'll be the only guy who walks out, right? We get it. Tyson, Luck, E, Fury, 
He's short torso, long lower body. Matter of fact, you see Tyson Fury's brother, Roman Fury? Don't he look goddamn just like Tyson Fury when... I watching Tyson Fury's brother, Roman Fury, fight yesterday. I'm like, God damn, he's shaped like Tyson Fury. From the back, you're looking, you're seeing that the, 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 the upper torso is all short and that weird kind of box-shaped waist and long-ass legs and that goddamn peanut head. Tyson Fury, he looked at his head like a goddamn macadamia nut. I said, what the hell is this? My thing is, this is a whole other video, but where did Tommy Fury come from? Because you got Tyson Fury, you got Roman Fury, you got the mad ball father, John Fury, then you got Shane Fury out there looking like another goddamn mad ball with his greasy ass hair. Uh, and I don't know who, what other goddamn siblings they got running around. But you got the goddamn garbage pail kids, then you got Tommy Fury. So what, what the hell happened here? How you get three, four garbage pails, and then you get a goddamn superhero. Anyway, if you ask me when it comes to Tyson Fury talking this shit about he's not Ngannou and he'll beat Ngannou's ass in a street fight, he'll beat him in the octagon and he'll beat this and he'll do that and me not Ngannou, me not Ngannou. You just a sausage, a sausage, a sausage, a Tyson Fury, a How y'all listen to that guy? Anyway, Tyson Fury running scared right now. His short torso, long, long lower extremity ass is running scared. And he get in that ring with uh, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua will tranquilize him. Simple. Tyson Fury doesn't stand a chance. And you watch. Some of y'all going to be real disappointed. All y'all out here who love Tyson Fury. And y'all go to sleep to watching Tyson Fury fights. And when you go on the first date with a like, nice little honey that you meet, something soft and nice, right? You go out there and you want to play a Tyson Fury fight for her. Look, all that shit's going to come to an end. Could happen with Yusuf, but definitely when he gets in there with, with, uh, with Anthony Joshua, because let's be real. I hear people say, oh, here in the UK, nobody likes AJ. And I hear people say, oh, here in the UK, no one likes Tyson Fury. And I'm like, well, there's going to be people who, be people who like and dislike both of them for whatever reason. I don't dislike either one. I don't like either one. I like to talk shit about Tyson Fury because I don't trust him. I think he's full of hot air. But one thing I will say is whoever loses this fight when Fury and AJ fight, I think they're going to have a tough time walking around uh, anywhere in the UK. Simple. Because, you know, you know, you, UK, UK, UK people are kind of like people from the Caribbean and also people from Asia, right? They speak their goddamn minds. If you have a bad case of acne and they haven't seen you in a while, when they see you, the first thing that could come out their mouth is, hey, what happened to your face? You got all these buttons in your face. Like they say anything. And uh, if, if Tyson Fury loses or AJ loses to Tyson Fury, they're going to be hard on him. And I think especially for Tyson Fury because, you know, there are a lot of people who are just tired of his bullshit. Uh, he handled these Usyk fights. A lot of people believe he was, was foul play with him in those uh, Wilder fights. Uh, but the bottom line is, whether it's AJ or Tyson Fury that lose, I think they both can have a tough time uh, uh, walking around in the UK. And in that in that case, neither one are in Ghana because no matter where in Ghana goes, he can hold his head high. And I think people will gravitate towards him because of his story and what he stands for. But uh, these two, you know, I don't know. But I'm rooting for AJ. I do. I just think AJ beats Tyson Fury. Too much power, too much skill, too strong. And unless Tyson Fury's taking a power-up, one of them Usman Sajjad power-ups, he's up shit creek. You saw what he looked like when he doesn't have a power-up in his system. Um, that's what he looked like against uh, Ngannou. But now he's got the power-ups in him. Let's see how it looks when he gets in here with Yusik, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying he's doing nothing illegal. I'm just telling you, you know, obviously the, the supplementation and diet wasn't there, so that's the power-up I'm talking about. Anyway, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans all seven continents. If you're a Tyson Fury fan, I dare you to say something. Because I have more in the breeze.